everyone and welcome to class. My name is Rachel, I am the girl with the Pilates mat and you're here today because you want to do a standing Pilates session with the resistance band. This is going to be a session that's suitable for everyone but I'm aiming this session at seniors, okay? So this is all about making sure we have some really good functional movement. We're going to strengthen the arms, the shoulders, everything, all right? Toning the legs, hips, all of that stuff. So let's get started with a little warm-up. So we're going to start um, with the feet just underneath your hip bones. And I'm using the longer band. So this is like a six foot band or a two meter band. So if you've got a long band as well, I want you to put it in half like that. Okay, and hold it out in front of you. It's gonna make it a little bit stronger on the arms. Okay, and we're gonna start with a little warm up for the legs. So we're gonna pull the tummy muscles in. Bring your arms down by your side and have those hands, can you see, a little bit wider than your hips. And then we're going to bend, bringing the band up and lowering it down. So as you lift it up, there's a gentle pull outwards, not too much because it's the warm up first of all. So bend and up, bend and up, four, three, two, now one, we're going to stay here and we're going to do eight little pulses. So we're going to do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And as you straighten, I want you to bring the arms up above you. Now, if that feels a little tight on your shoulders, widen your hands. Okay, now what we're going to do is lift the heels. And as we lift the heels, we're going to bring the arms down in line with the shoulders. And as we lower the heels, take the arms back up. So I am working your brain as well as your body. So we're going to lift the heels and lower the heels. Lift the heels and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more. Lift and lower and lift and lower. Bring your arms down and then just bring your heels together so you can feel your bottom muscles working. All right, and now we're going to bend. Arms come up and straighten. Bend and straighten. Four, three, and four, and five, six, seven, on eight, let's stay here and let's do eight pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you're going to lift the arms up. So same as we did before, we're going to lift the heels, bring the arms down and then go back the other way. So this is to strengthen the muscles of the lower legs and the feet. Okay, so that helps with balance preventing falls, catching yourself if you trip, all that stuff. Good. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Lower the heels, bring the arms down. Now I want you to bring your heels out. Now open the toes, so you're turning out. And then straighten the feet again and then open one more time. So this is your position. Now we're going to bend the knees, bring the arms to here. If you feel comfortable doing so, arms all the way up this time. And down. Bend. Good. So you're keeping a nice straight back because this is an osteoporosis friendly workout as well. Good. And four. Three, two, one, stay here, eight pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Well done. And let's bring those feet back in. And this time we're going to let the band go back to just one length so it's not too strong. 
And we're going to do a little bit of work on the shoulders. So you can see my arms a little bit wider and we're going to lift the band up. If you can, as high as you can go without your shoulders lifting. So if you feel they start to lift, that's where you stop. Then you're going to pull the band wide, take the elbows back and bring the band just to the top of your head. Then you're going to reach it up and bring it back down. So we're trying to do this without the shoulder blades lifting. All right, so focus on your shoulder blades staying down through the whole of the movement. All right, so we're lifting up, bend, up, and lower down. Good. Up, bend. So think of the elbows pulling back. You're trying to feel that stretch also across the front of your shoulders, front of your chest. Three more. Good. And two. And one. Well done. And down. All right, now let's roll the shoulders up, back, and round. Up, back, and round. Up, back, and round. Up, back, and around. For four. Three, two, and one. Well done. Let's lift the band back up. And those of you that have the longer band, in fact, you can double for this one because that does make it a little bit more easy, actually. So you're going to lift the band up and you're just going to think of reaching up, everyone, but shoulders down, and then just a gentle side stretch. So you want to feel the rib cage lifting and then stretching over and then come back. And again, feel that lift. So the lift is happening at waist level and then you're going over and up and down. So we're going to go over and exhale back. Inhale as you go over exhale back so you've got to try and avoid this happening and think more it's your spine moving that's it and up over and up over and up one more over and up now I want you to go over and lean your hip out the other way. So that's going to extend that feeling of stretch. Bring it in and lift it up. You're going to go over, lean your hip out. You can even look towards the band if you want. Bring it in and up. So we're going to go over, leaning out and pull on that band. That will give you a little bit of support back and up. You're going to go over, pulling out on the band. Good. And up. Two more. Over. Reach. And up. And over. Reach. And up. Bringing yourself down. Okay, so we're nice and warmed up. Let's turn those feet out again. Okay, so we want to go as wide as you're comfortable going. We're going to go back to... The band, just the full length of the band, like so. Okay, and we're going to come into a position where we feel we can stay for a little while. It's going to, you're going to feel this in your thighs. Okay, think of your knees pushing back. Bring the arms up, like so, and your palms face down. Now I want you to pull out on the band and back. Out and back. So again, shoulder blades down. This is strengthening all those arm and shoulder muscles. Good. And four, three, two, one. Well done. Bring the band up. Now lift the heel up, place it down. Lift it up and down. Up and down. Up and down. For four, three, two, one. Let's go on to the other leg. Heel lift 
and down. So stay in that uh, position with the knees bent and just keep lifting up the heel, placing it down. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. One more, lift and lower, and then come all the way up. Well done. Okay, so just give everything a little shake out. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the band and I'm just gonna go sideways for you to demonstrate. You're going to put your right foot in the band. You want that band as flat as possible. So right foot in the band and in front of you. Left foot back, slightly turned out. Okay, and then we think of aligning the pelvis. So we want our two hip bones facing forward. Okay, we're gonna wrap once on the band and then we're gonna lean in like so. So this is your position. All right, so getting a really lovely calf stretch on that back leg. So let's just hold that there for a moment and just focus on stretching that calf. And what I like to do is just wiggle the foot around so that you really get the stretch through the whole of the calf muscle. So you can have the leg slightly turned out, then try straightening it, getting that really good stretch there. Good. And then we're gonna bring the arms down. And then from here, let's just raise them a little bit, go into a bicep curl. So we're gonna go 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now put your weight forward into that front leg, Bring your arms down and take them out to the side. So keep that back foot connected, but just the toe. Tum is in, and then think of the arms going to the side like a bird opening its wings. So you're gonna go up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there and you want to be halfway out. So your muscles are working quite hard, but you can hold that position. And then we're going to take the weight a little further forward and we're going to lift the back leg. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you're going to come back and then think of bending that back leg, keeping the front leg straight and just coming down, 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 down. You can relax the band here and find that hamstring stretch. So think of just sticking your bottom out, finding that stretch in the back of that right leg. Nice straight spine, shoulders down, eye line towards the floor so we're not straining the neck. Good, and then when you're ready, come on up. Let's change sides. So do the same thing on the other side. So you want to make sure you've got an even amount of band in each hand. All right, we're going to start with the calf stretch. Okay, so bending that front leg. We'll wrap round once for the hands, and then we're just going to lean forward and try and find the stretch in your right calf muscle. Feel free to move that foot around. Like for me, I find I get a better stretch when the foot is straight. Now draw your shoulders down, arms come down and out, and let's bicep curl for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now taking the weight forward, keeping your back toe connected, straight arms, backs of the hands facing forward. Let's open those arms like a pair of wings for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One. Now find that resistance halfway so you can hold it but it is a challenge. Take the weight a little further forward so we can float that back leg up for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Place that back foot down, transfer the weight back. And let's just lean back, bottom out, stretching out that hamstring. So you want to be feeling it all through here, yeah? Again, eye line down, think of length through the back of the neck. We don't want the chin poking forward because that compresses the vertebra on your neck. Well done. Good, come on up. All right, let's take the band out from under the feet and let's do a little work on the side of the body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use arms and legs, make it a full body exercise, slightly turned out with the feet. And then what you're gonna do is step one, come down to here, bring the feet together and then step and together. So bend together, bend together. So we're slightly turned out, that's it. And you just work within the range that's okay for your knees, all right? You do wanna try and move those knees, but obviously you don't wanna overwork them, but it's important that we keep them mobile and flexible. Good, we're gonna do one more set. That's it, and back. And back. Well done. Now turn your feet in, bend both your knees and let's pop this toe out to the side and let's bring our arms forward and slightly pull out on the band. This is to help you stabilize as we do a little lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, bend, go the other way. Make sure your feet are parallel. We're working in different muscles on the side of the leg and the hip. And here we go, lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Well done, bend and come down. Okay, shake everything out. All right, and let's do a little bit more work with the hips. So we're just gonna try this. This is a little tricky, but I want you to try it. So you're gonna get the full length of your band, one end in each hand, and place your right foot in the band, like so. Think about your standing leg. So we don't want to be sitting in that hip. We wanna really lift up through the hip, through the glutes, working this side of the core we are as we do it. One end of the band in each hand. And I want you to, can you see, take your fingertips lower down and then stand up nice and straight. So you can feel you've got a bit of support on that leg. Now you're gonna draw the tummy in and you're gonna try and do a straight leg lift to the front and then bring it down. Lift. And, down. and that lift can be just off the floor if you're working on your balance. If you've got the flexibility, that lift can be as far as you want to take it, all right? It's very hard to talk and do these, I have to say. So we're going to lift for four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to lift just off the floor and try and take it out to the side and then bring it back. Take it to the side and bring it back. So we've added resistance to this hip movement. This is working all your hip muscles. We're only gonna go out. We're not gonna reverse it. Okay, we're gonna do just eight. So four, three, two, one. Good, and come back, change legs. Now, if you felt that all through here, 
that's exactly where you should feel it. Standing leg, doing a lot of work. All right, these are all your stabilizing muscles. So you're working your lower back, your hips, everything. Okay, so let's line up and let's take our hands a little further down. Okay, the foot is out. Draw the shoulders back. And now we're gonna try and float up and take it down. So you create the amount of resistance you want. Okay, the lower you go on the band, the more support it actually gives you. The lighter the band, the harder it becomes. All right, so it's a great way to work on these sorts of movements with a little bit of help. Good. Four, three, two, one. Now just off the floor, push out to the side, bring it back. Just off the floor and then you're gonna go out and back again. Out and back. Out and back. Four. Three. Two. One. Well done. And come on in. Take that band away. We're going to double up once again. You're going to do something for your shoulders. All right, so I'm just going to go sideways. In fact, I'm going to turn completely around so you can see. You want your hands in this position and you want to draw your shoulders right back and then have your elbows facing backwards. So I call this the shoulder slide. It's a really good exercise for the shoulders. And all you're going to do is slide the band up the back of your body, trying to keep your shoulders open, your elbows back, and then slide it back down. Okay, so we don't want to be rounded shouldered, we want shoulders back, chest open, sliding up and sliding down. Elbows back and down. So try and stay as open as you can. A lot of people find this very difficult, even people in their 20s who are spending a lot of time on their computers will find this very tricky. Elbows stay back for four, three, two, one. Now stay up, bring the elbows back, and now I want you to extend out and back. So elbows stay where they are, and you're just moving the lower part of the arm. So you're moving from the elbow. Three, two, one. Now bend your knees, pull your tummies in, and tilt at the hips. That's it. Now we're going to lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. So you work on the range that feels appropriate for you. Well, do four, three, two, one. Hold it here. And now we're going to come up and back down. Good, so as you bend your knees, raise your arms behind you. Can you feel that work all through the upper body and the lower body? Good, four, three, two, one. Well done. And bring the arms around to the front, okay. So I'll give you two options now. If you feel comfortable, you can do this with the band double. This is going to be a strong exercise on your shoulders. If you prefer, just do it single so it's lighter. Okay. So what you're going to do is hold the band across the palms of your hands. Standing neutral position. You're going to bring your elbows in towards your side. Draw your shoulders back and down, and then you're going to take hold of that band so it's in your hands. And now you're going to just try and pull the band out to each side. So you can see I've got the band double. I'm not moving very far, but I'm working on strengthening my muscles. Now, if you want to work on your shoulder range, you do exactly the same thing, but on a light band. 
This is more appropriate if you've maybe had surgery or an injury. Good to work on the range of motion. Okay, four, three, two, one. Well done. And then from there, let's bring our arms all the way up. Okay, and we're going to turn, or I'm going to turn, take the right foot back. I'm going to bend the left knee, so I want you all to bend the left knee and hinge forward at the hips. So no rounded spines. You're going to hinge forward. You're going to pull the band out a little so you can feel that work in the upper body. And then we're going to lift the leg up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Take the leg behind you and then bend both knees. Keep your arms up if you can. If that's uncomfortable, you can bring your arms in front of you like this, okay? And then we're going to do a little pelvic tilt to stretch the front of the hip forward and back. Forward and back. So forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, and forward and back. Well done, changing sides. Okay, so we've got our arms up, we're hinging forward, weight in that front leg, and then you're going to lift two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Take the foot behind you, weight back, bend your knees, adjust your arms if you want to. Pelvic tilt forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. One more, forward and back. Well done, and come on in. Shake everything out. Okay, from here, let's bring the arms nice and wide on the band. Finishing up now, we're gonna lift on up, and then if you can, you're gonna reach the band back. Can you see I'm pulling out slightly? Go as far as your shoulders will allow. If you can go all the way back, then please do. Then you're gonna lift up and bring them down. So we're gonna inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Lift and back and lift and over. Two more. Lift and back. Lift and over. Last one. Lift and back. Lift all the way up. Hold it here. And then we're going to pull out. And two. And three, and if you can, pull further, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Lifting up and bringing your arms all the way down. Well done. Just going to pop the band off to one side. And to finish, let's take a deep breath in, lift the arms up. Exhale out. Lifting up. Exhale out. And last one, lifting up. And exhale out. And there you go. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're here with me live, thank you very much indeed. Do press the like button. This is my monthly live seniors class. So the next one will be in four weeks time. That's on the 6th of May. And hope to see you then. If you are with me live and you want to have a chat or ask me any questions about your Pilates practice, I'm gonna come on to the chat now. And if you're watching on recording, why not stick around for the chat? You never know what you might learn. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Do take care, have a lovely day, and I'll see you soon. Well done, everybody. Well, the sunshine just went in towards the end of the session there. I'm just going to see if I need to add a little more light because it is looking quite dark. Um, let me just lighten that up for you. There we go. Hopefully that looks 
a little better for you now. So, any questions? Fire away, everybody. Uh, just to, I'm just going to double check that date. Uh, it was uh, for our next live because we're doing one live senior class every month. So the next one is Monday, the sixth of May. All right, so that will be our next live. And I haven't forgotten that I've promised you a new playlist. I am recording uh, some new sessions, some new senior sessions, and I'm just kind of working my way through those at the moment. We're recording, we're editing, doing all kinds of stuff in between our lives. So those will hopefully be with you in May uh, as I'm in the midst of doing all that. Um, but thank you very much everyone who came today. And uh, I'm going to say a quick hello to those of you that are here. Those of you who have also contributed by supporting me on Ko-fi, I just want to thank you so much uh, for all your support. It really does keep this channel going. I know that I do say that often, but without your support, we couldn't do this. Uh, I just wouldn't be able to be able to afford to do it. Uh, so the support you give means not only are you helping me keep the channel going, but it means you're also keeping the channel going for other people who can't afford to support it. So we do really appreciate your donations. And if you're not on Ko-fi, why not go check it out? Because as a, as a sort of a thank you for your support, I post a private stuff on there that doesn't go anywhere else on my social media. So there'll often be little insights there or uh, exclusives of things that are coming on up next or things that we're planning to do that we haven't actually put out on social media if that all goes on the Kofi page all right so I want to say hello and thank you to Mary Margaret Seagrace thank you very much Mary for your donation today uh, Vivian Stacy I've just seen you've donated on Kofi thank you very much indeed uh, Mandy Smith thank you Mandy hello to you uh, much appreciated your donation today. Thank you. Really appreciate that. And I also want to say a thank you to Carla La Bombard. Thank you, Carla, very much for your donation. Uh, Regina, thank you for your donation as well. Love your emoji. Very cute. Uh, Carol Neath. Hello, Carol. Lovely to see you here. Thank you very much for your donation as well. Much appreciated. So I'm going to have a quick look at what you thought of today. Um, oh, okay. There's lots of you who are going to see the eclipse. I forgot about that. Uh, Teresa Camerano has just donated on Kofi. Thank you very much, Teresa. Um, you've got a big eclipse, haven't you, in the States? It's going to be a complete eclipse. So I can see uh, Sue DePinto's mentioned it and uh, Cheryl in Virginia has mentioned it um, and Mary Margaret Seagrace has also mentioned it. Do tell me next time I see you what it's like or if you're in the eclipse while we're on the chat please do let me know I'd love to hear. Um, Mandy Smith says uh, looking forward to class weather's awful so I haven't been out much in days and in need of a good stretch. Well I hope you found that very helpful uh, Mandy. So today what I did today was some really um, strong functional work, a lot of it for the upper body, but as you could tell, there was quite a lot of balance uh, exercises in there. And the reason I do the balance exercises is obviously for balance and, and preventing falls and all those things. But the balance exercises are a really, really good way to work your core when you're standing up. That's partly why I do them as well. Because as we know, as I've talked about before, and I mentioned in my book, your core isn't your abdominal muscles only. It's all the muscles that essentially hold you upright. So that's your gluteal muscles, your abdominal muscles, all the spinal muscles, even into just the lower back muscles as well. So very, very important to keep them and your hip muscles nice and strong. And so you might have found today some of it was a little challenging. I tried to give a balance of some fairly easy and then some a little bit more challenging. Uh, definitely one that you can repeat on a regular basis. If you found that, uh, you know, there, there was something you realized during that session where you needed extra work, you found it quite challenging then I always say try and make a mental note of that or which video it was and then go back and do it and keep doing it until you feel like, okay, I can do this one now and everything feels achievable. That I think is a really good way to kind of monitor 
how your fitness is going. It's when you find a workout that's difficult, give it a day or two and then go back and do it again and keep doing it every couple of days until you find it's, it's relatively straightforward and you can do most of it. Then you know you've really grown in your strength and your flexibility and your mobility. Um, okay, so just going down the chat now. Robin Newcomb, hello Robin, lovely to see you. Oh, just so you know everyone, there was about 100 people doing the class today, which is super, I love that. Robin says, hello everyone, almost missed the start. I was busy in my vegetable garden, planting seeds and turning soil. So nice to have a good stretch. That's wonderful. I've just been planting seeds as well. Uh, this weekend. So yes, it's, uh, it's good to have that stretch out, isn't it? After you've been doing all that work. Uh, June Kowalczak. Hello, June. Good morning to you. You've had your Cairo treatment. Oh, you've been having migraines. Three in a row and today. Oh, do look after yourself, uh, June. You've also got the eclipse this afternoon. So I shall look forward to hearing about that. I think we'll, I'm sure we'll see it on the television here. Uh, later. Patricia Robotham, how lovely to see you. Thank you very much. Hello. Uh, your first live session for ages. Love from Derbyshire. But well, lots of love to you, Patricia. Thank you very much indeed for joining us today. I hope you found it okay. Uh, who else have we got? Anna McDougall. Lovely Anna. Mwah. Hello, Anna. Anna's in West London. Well, I think you're in West London. You might be on holiday because uh, I know it's Easter holiday time, isn't it? Uh, you joined in today. Wonderful. How was it, Anna? Hopefully that was all okay for you. Um, Anna, everybody, when I used to teach in London, Anna always used to do a session on Monday with me. So it feels like old times, Anna. We're kind of almost around the time we used to come in, aren't we? So super to see you there. Hello to Marion Wilk. Hello to Kim B. Hello to Carla La Bombard. Thank you for your birthday wishes, by the way, everyone. Uh, if you want to know uh, what I got up to, you can look at uh, my Instagram, the girl with the Pilates mat, and there you will see me and my lovely husband, Kerwin, doing the Charleston, uh, because he learnt the Charleston for me so that I could do it for my wedding dance. So we did the Charleston as our wedding dance, but we also did it uh, for my birthday last week, and it was great fun. You'll see us dancing on Instagram if you want to go check that out. Uh, if you don't have Instagram, I am on, uh, if you don't have my Instagram, my handle is the same as my YouTube. So it's the girl with the Pilates mat. So do go and have a look at that. Uh, and yes, I think we all uh, want to wish uh, June a speedy recovery, June. I really hope you feel better soon. I'm so sorry to hear you've not been well. Uh, Rita Lafleur, hello Rita. Rita says, hi Rachel, glad you're back, but glad you also had a vacation and took time for yourself. Oh, Jane Rose has just donated on Kofi. Thank you, Jane. Um, and Rita says, uh, I'm still doing the same. I'm here. Super. Well, thank you very much, Rita. Uh, it's very hard, you know, when you run your own business, taking time out is always difficult because you can't sort of walk away from your office and your office keeps going without you. People just sort of contact you all the time. So, I do really appreciate that, Rita, and I'm sort of still sort of in my Easter break. I am working a couple of days this week, but I'm also taking a couple of days off. For those of you that come on Fridays, I am here on Friday this week, and I will be continuing the intermediate Pilates. So we're doing an intermediate mat Pilates this Friday, but I'm gonna do the combination that everyone said they really love. So I'm gonna do 20 minutes of standing, 20 minutes of mat work, but it's going to be intermediate level. So it's going to be challenging, very challenging, but also wonderful. It's my favorite type of exercise, I've got to say. Uh, I love the 50-50 split. I think it works really well. Carla, thank you so much uh, for your donation. Much appreciated. Sue De Pinto, hello Sue, lovely to see you. Thank you for your email. You've got the, the sign book that I sent you in the postcard. Very glad about that. I will get around to answering that email. So it's been a little bit crazy because I've been doing birthday celebrations pretty much every day since my birthday last Monday and I'm still doing them. Uh, so everything's a little bit topsy-turvy as they say, but I'll get back on track soon. 
uh, but lovely to see you're here, Sue. Uh, take care, my love. Hello to Olga. Hi, Olga. How are you? I hope you're well. And Eleanor Kerr, hello to you, Eleanor. You enjoy the osteo classes. I'm really, really pleased about that. I hope you enjoyed today. Um, I think the osteo classes, to be honest, they're great for osteoporosis and osteopenia. Um, as I mentioned in the session, I think they're good for everyone because I do a lot of work that focuses on strengthening those upper back muscles, which obviously get weakened with an osteoporosis and with bone density, very, very important for everyone, especially women, to really work on your muscular strength. And that's why we use our resistance bands. That's why we use a lot of body weight work in Pilates. So we'll be doing more of that this Friday. But thank you very much, Eleanor. Really lovely to see you. Uh, Diane McLaurin, hello Diane, lovely to have you here, says thank you, great workout. Uh, Regina, hello to you, and thank you very much for your donation. Hello to Luciana Mello, hello to you Luciana, I hope you're well. Uh, Mandy Smith says that certainly was a shoulder stretch, thank you Rachel. Good, I'm really glad you enjoyed it Mandy, thank you for the feedback. Uh, Terry Soledad said that felt good. Very pleased to hear that, Terry. Uh, Carla Lombard, oh, this is lovely, says, Rachel, you and Kerwin look so nice, all dressed up in green for your night out on the town. Thank you. The dressed up in green was on my Kofi page, wasn't it? So I love everything 1920s, 1930s. I've always been into that era, the design, art deco, design buildings, music, dance, all that kind of stuff. And I had a very special dress made, uh, which was in a really bright green silk 1930s dress, full length ball gown. And uh, I put a picture of that on Kofi with my husband. Did you notice, um, Carla, that Kerwin had the same colour handkerchief and bow tie as my dress? Uh, so the lady that made my dress made that for him so we could kind of go out as a matching couple, which I thought was rather sweet. Um, so June says, hello June, says thanks Rachel, this was perfect today, a lovely stretch after a few migraines, okay you did it June, so well done despite the migraine, the shoulder exercises, the elbows behind were tricky, feel good though, yes the ones where you've got to take the elbows back because it's really stretching kind of that front area and for a lot of us what happens, me included, is the shoulders start to kind of pull inwards and the muscles here shorten. So when you have to take the shoulders back and then take the elbows back, you're really stretching there. So hopefully that felt a lot better and it sounds like it might have helped a little bit with your migraine. Often migraines can be tension uh, induced as well. I used to have a lot of migraines, June, a lot. Um, it's only been probably the last uh, eight, seven, eight years they've got better. And I think that's reducing tension in, for me, it was reducing tension in my neck and my shoulders that really, really helped with that. Um, hello to Angeli, Angel, is that Angeli? Angeli, I'm not quite sure of the pronunciation. I can see your name, it looks beautiful. Angeli White, hello to you. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and it says, and Jenny said, this was great. I haven't been exercising for a while due to a few chronic illnesses, but very doable. Do you have any Pilates programs for sale? And Jenny, I don't sell my programs. They are all free. Okay, they're all free. Now, what I would suggest for you is as you've been uh, dealing with quite a lot of chronic pain, which I know is awful when you have chronic illnesses, the very best place for you to be is right here doing these sessions, the senior base sessions, because they're very gentle, but as you felt today, they're doable. So they will get you stronger, they will work your muscles, they will work your joints, but they're very, very low impact on the joints. They're much more about mobilizing a joint, getting a joint moving, getting your muscle stronger. So what I would suggest uh, Angeli or Angel, Angel is that you look at my seniors and gentle Pilates playlist. 
There's lots and lots of videos on there. You don't need to do them in any particular order. Just start, what I always say, start at the beginning and work your way through. You can have the playlist up on your computer screen or on your phone or wherever you watch YouTube. And then just do one, press pause, and then when you're feeling like you're ready to do another, play the next one in the list and do that. All right, and I wish you well, and come and join us when we do our Senior Pilates uh, first Monday of every month. And then in the meantime, you've got the playlist to be working with. And what I would say, Angeli, is when you feel better, let me know on the chat, and then I can guide you towards uh, a good place for you to start with the mat pilates but i think for now this sounds like this is just about right for you so when you start to feel a little stronger you can consider going on to the beginner workouts which is more a mix of mat work and standing work okay and it's lovely to have you here so thank you very much uh for coming hello to marion wilk it's lovely to see you marion uh really glad to see you here hello to leoti Hello to Maria Cristina Coelho, who says, thanks for focus, ages over 60. Uh, Brazil, under privileges, under pression. I'm not sure what that means, but it's lovely to see you here, Maria. Hope you enjoyed the session today. Um, okay, so uh, Mary Margaret says, oh, the eclipse will be past here in about two and a half hours. It'll be 2.15 where you are. Oh, that'll be our evening. So thank you for that. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for it. Oh, there's lots of uh, donations coming in. Thank you, everyone. Dear Anna, thank you very much indeed, Anna, for your donation. Um, Anna says, thank you, Rachel. That was great. I love working with the stretchy band. Yes, agree with you there, Anna. And thank you for the donation, Anna. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so Robin Newcomb says, that was great for my shoulders been doing lots of garden work over the weekend, ready for spring planting, loving the spring challenge too. Great idea, the mix of shorter workouts, feeling great. Yeah, so we do 30 minutes on a Monday and on a Friday, we're currently doing 40 minutes because everyone likes that. But as we get closer towards the summer, I'll start to shorten them because I know everyone's lifestyle changes a little bit in the summer months and people tend to have less time to work out. All the workouts that I'm filming are short. So when they start coming out, you'll see there's 10 minutes of intermediate, uh, 15 minutes of beginners, that kind of thing. So all my filmed workouts are gonna be shorter ones that hopefully gives you that option of doing a short one and then joining me for a longer one live. Uh, Teresa Camerano says, uh, Teresa Camerano Waters, first time using a band, loved it. Thank you, and thank you for your Kofi uh, donation, Teresa. I saw that come in, much appreciated. Um, Dom's Forever says, love the modifications for the shoulders. Thank you very much, glad that worked for you. Martine de Kerfel says, I was right back in time from biking and charity work in the Elder House, lovely sun. Also a good start after a week of cold. Yeah, it's amazing weather today. I mean, the sun is really bright here, so it's just, Feels like spring, finally. Um, okay, Jane Rose says, happy birthday, Rachel. Really enjoyed today's class and I'm feeling stretched and strengthened. I'm delighted to hear it, uh, Jane, thank you very much. Linda Verney Thompson, hello, Linda. Lovely to see you. Uh, really, really thankful to you for that generous donation. Thank you, Linda. I hope you're keeping well. I know you've sent me some messages, I think, on Facebook, and I'm kind of playing catch up with everything at the moment. But I really appreciate all your messages and your feedback, everyone. I do go and read things when I have a spare half an hour, and that helps me work out what workouts to do for you next, just to keep everything ticking over to also help you if you've got particular conditions, things that you're struggling with. I am aware and I do make notes, so I will be recording a few new videos. I'm gonna do one uh, which is for Marion Wilk, Marion, I haven't forgotten you, for diastasis, recti, I will be filming a workout. I'm just going through all my uh, books because I did a whole certification in diastasis, recti recovery, as well as pelvic floor health. So I'm just recapping all of that before I start to film the video, but I will make one for you. Uh, 
Um, okay. Char B says, thank you, Rachel. I actually made it on time. Excellent class. Thank you, Char B. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, Cal says, I hope you've had a lovely restful break and it's great to have you back. Thank you, Carol. I did have a lovely, lovely time. We were down in Devon. The weather was pretty good considering how many storms we've all had in the world. Um, yeah, it was fabulous. Leoti, hello to Leoti. Says, I had to rewind because I, yeah, I came in late, but I'm so glad that I watched. And yes, upper back. It definitely was an upper back workout today. Anne Ali says, belated happy birthday to you. Uh, both love you. Thank you very much, Anne. That's very kind. Myrna, hello to you, Myrna. Lovely to see you. Myrna says, hi, better late than never. Happy birthday. I had a huge birthday on, oh, you have a huge birthday on the 5th. 5th, that's the day before my auntie's birthday. Um, oh, we won't say what number it was, but did it, have a, did it have a zero in it or a five in it? I can't remember, but happy birthday to you as well. Myrna, lovely to see you here. Leoti says, oh, and I also got a cork mat. It's a revelation. I'm so glad. Thank you very much for sharing that, Leoti. I do love my cork mat. It's so um, uh, nice to work on, isn't it? It's got a good grip. It's very comfortable. And of course, you're looking after the planet by buying a cork mat as opposed to something that's been manufactured out of plastic, which we don't like. We don't like to work on that. In fact, I must mention to you, it will be coming soon, that I've had a really lovely uh, fitness brand approach me and send me some new fitness wear which is all made out of recycled plastic from the ocean. And because I live near the ocean, I live near the sea in Brighton, it's five minutes from my house, um, I've become more and more aware of all the pollution in the sea. So I'm very excited about telling you all about that. And uh, hopefully I'll have a discount code for those of you who may be interested in buying some. Uh, anyway, more of that to come uh, later. Uh, hi to Angel, you're from Toronto, lovely to see you. Uh, we have relatives in Toronto actually. Uh, I've been to Toronto, it's a big old city, isn't it? I went to um, the, car is it a castle? There was some very old building up on a hill that I remember going to that was beautiful, uh, had lovely cars in it. I can't remember the name of it now, but it was pretty amazing. Um, we were visiting relatives out there, so I have been to your city, uh, Angeli or Angel. Um, Jay says, do you have any tips for plantar fasciitis or stenosis? I love the content. Hello, Jay. Uh, yes, I do. So for plantar fasciitis, uh, you want to go and do um, my treat your feet video. Uh, so that video is the perfect video for plantar fasciitis because in it we work with um, a small ball, like a trigger point ball, also just a tea towel, and we work on lots of movements to stretch out the fascia in the bottom of the feet, to release tension in the feet. So have a look at that. It's actually in my spring playlist, but if you look at Treat Your Feet, if you go into my videos and put Treat Your Feet, that will come up. It's only a 10 minute uh, video and it's the sort of thing if you've got plantar fasciitis you could do daily to help with the effects of that all right so I would have a look at that spinal stenosis I'm guessing it's a spinal stenosis I actually have a note to make a video on that uh, so spinal stenosis yes you have to be very very careful with extension work um, movements going in that direction okay so you want to avoid that for now uh, flexion work is absolutely fine for you, Jay. And I have actually had quite a few requests uh, for a video, <coughs> excuse me, for spinal stenosis. So I do plan to do that along with the one for diastasis recti. They'll be in my new batch of films that will be coming out over the next couple of months. And I'm sorry that you guys have to wait, but because I do two lives a week, I'm always sort of working on the next live. So as soon as I finish this live, I've got to work on what I'm going to do on Friday. And in between that, I also have to work on content to film videos as well. So do bear with me. Um, but Jay, 
yes, just uh, in the, for the, the feet, treat your feet you want to go to, the spinal stenosis, work as much as you can doing exercises in flexion and that will help. If you start to feel any exercise, if you start to feel anything numb or tingly down the back of your body, that's when you want to go into some flexion, yeah? So um, what I mean by that was if you were, I mean, generally we avoid it with stenosis, but if you're in this position and you were just doing a little movement, lifting up, and you can feel any kind of tingling down here, you want to avoid that completely. And for you, anything where you're working in flexion, you might be okay in neutral, you just have to see how you feel. Again, if you feel any tingling in the legs, you don't want to be doing that, but being in flexion and then doing your movements is all absolutely fine for you. Okay, so um, I will make a video because I did have quite a few people ask me about that. Okay, so I think it's time to sign off because I know I've been on the chat for ages now. Um, and I just want to thank you all for your donations today, for being back with me today. We are back to our live, so I will be here next Monday with a new live. That will be a mixed ability live next Monday. Uh, and I'm sure we'll be doing a little bit more of our Matt Pilates next week, all right? And I will be here Friday. So for those of you that are happy to do the uh, more challenging classes, the intermediate, that will be Friday at 10 a.m. UK time. Otherwise, I'll be back next Monday. Don't forget, I also have the Spring Pilates playlist currently running. You'll find that on the homepage of my channel. Just scroll down, just keep scrolling down and you'll see Spring Pilates playlist. You can start anytime you want and I recommend you try and do one a day uh, for the next, for the full 31 days. All right, so take care everyone. Uh, lots of love to you all and I'll see you very, very soon. All right, take care. Bye for now.